Welcome to Kiwi Culture, your guide to New Zealand life and New Zealand language. Today's Kiwi clip shares some iconic sweet food and drink in New Zealand. This video is for anyone with a sweet tooth, and a person who has or is a sweet tooth is someone who really likes sweet food. First, a vocabulary reminder. In New Zealand, soda or pop is called fizzy drink or soft drink. Candy is lollies, and cookies are usually called biscuits. Let's start with drinks. Alan P. This is a fizzy drink from New Zealand, specifically from Paeroa, in the Thames Valley part of Waikato. The original two ingredients from the early 1900s were lemon and spring water from Paeroa. Not surprisingly, the L in the name stands for lemon and the P stands for Paeroa. The drink is so famous in New Zealand that there is a large Allen P bottle in Paeroa, which is a very popular photo stop for many visitors to the area. These days, the drink is owned and made by Coca-Cola. Milo. Our next drink definitely isn't from New Zealand. In fact, it was invented by an Australian man for Nestle, but it's definitely very common here. And that's Milo, a chocolate drink powder that you can have with hot or cold milk. It's very common in New Zealand households for people to have Milo as well as tea and coffee, especially if there are children in the house. Milo has green packaging and often has an image of a person playing sport on the front. Now for food. Chocolate fish. Because what could possibly be a more natural combination than fish and chocolate? So chocolate fish are usually pink marshmallow in the shape of a fish, which is covered in chocolate. The chocolate on top is slightly uneven to make it look like the scales of a fish. This can be a popular reward for doing something well in New Zealand. Pineapple lumps. These were invented in the 1950s by Charles Driver in Oamaru. He was working for Regina Confections and he wanted to make a new product from the leftover marshmallow from a pineapple chocolate fish that they used to make. In the end, he invented pineapple lumps, which are small pieces of chewy pineapple flavoured marshmallow covered in chocolate. Jaffers. These are chocolate balls covered in red shells with an orange flavour. The flavour was created by Tom Colston Cogan from the company Sweet Acres in Australia. These sweets were first sold in New Zealand and Australia in 1931. And between the early 2000s until 2017, every year in July in Dunedin, there used to be a Jaffa race, where people rolled Jaffas down Baldwin Street, New Zealand's steepest street. People would pay to enter a Jaffa into the race, and the money would go to charity. The race dropped from 100 metres above sea level to 10 metres above sea level, at a gradient of about 19 degrees, and a length of 350 metres. The race has not continued since production of Jaffas was stopped in Dunedin. Whisaker's Confectionery. Whittaker's is a family company started in 1896 in Wellington by James Henry Whittaker from Macclesfield in England. This brand is very well known in New Zealand, particularly for its chocolate. In 1950, Whittaker's invented the Peanut Slab, which is an iconic chunky chocolate bar from New Zealand with peanuts inside it. Scones or scones. These are a very British influence on New Zealand, and they are a typical recipe that children often learn when they are young. Scones can be sweet or not, and they are very popular with some jam, whipped cream, and a cup of tea. 
Lemmingtons. Lemmingtons are square pieces of sponge covered in chocolate or raspberry sauce and coconut. They used to be really popular for fundraising events, where community groups or schools, for example, would sell lots of lamingtons to as many people as possible to raise money. Lolly cake. This is made from fruit puff lollies, crushed malt biscuits, condensed milk and butter. These ingredients are combined, rolled into a log, covered in coconut, and then put in the fridge to set. Then the log is cut into slices. You can find lolly cake at a lot of bakeries and cafes throughout the country. Slices. Baking slices are usually very flat and extremely sweet treats that are common in New Zealand bakeries and cafes. They come in a lot of different flavours and a lot of people have their own special home recipe that they will make if they have to contribute food to a social event. Ice cream. Two kiwi ice cream flavours are hokey pokey and goody goody gumdrops. Hokey pokey is vanilla ice cream with small balls of honeycomb toffee in it and Goody Goody Gumdrops is a light green bubblegum flavoured ice cream with gumdrops in it. Gumdrops are similar to gummy bears, but they are in a dome shape instead. Even though New Zealanders usually say biscuits for cookies, we make an exception with these. Cookie times are cookies or biscuits with large chunks of chocolate in them. The company was started in 1983 in Christchurch, and you can still visit the Cookie Time factory in Templeton, Christchurch. Griffin's Biscuits Griffin's is a biscuit company which was started in 1890 in Nelson by John Griffin from the Isle of Wight. It makes many biscuits which are well known in New Zealand, such as Mallow Puffs, Ginger Nuts, Squiggles and Toffee Pops. Anzac Biscuits These biscuits are connected with the Anzac soldiers who fought in World War I. Anzac stands for the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Even though historians say it's probably not likely, the popular story is that the wives and mothers of the Anzac soldiers created the biscuit because it can survive for a long time so they were able to send Anzac biscuits to the soldiers during wartime. The unique flavour of the biscuit is from rolled oats, coconut and golden syrup. Tim Tams These are chocolate biscuits from Australia which are popular in many countries, including New Zealand. They were created by Ian Norris of Arnott's Biscuits and are named after a horse called Tim Tam who won the Kentucky Derby in 1958. A popular tradition with them is the Tim Tam Slam, where you bite off both ends of the biscuit and then use it as a straw to drink hot chocolate, often Milo. The filling inside melts away and at the end you eat the biscuit which is soaked in hot chocolate. The ultimate disagreement between New Zealand and Australia is who invented the pavlova. This is a dessert made of egg white and sugar that is popular in both countries for celebrations and especially on Christmas Day. It's named after the Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova who toured through Australia and New Zealand in the 1920s. Many say that the dessert is supposed to look like her tutu. Pavlova shares some similarities with meringue, but while pavlova has crisp edges, it's soft and marshmallow-like on the inside. It's usually covered with whipped cream and slices of strawberry or kiwi fruit. You'll notice that none of these foods or drinks contain pumpkin or sweet potato, known as kumra here. 
Even though these ingredients are really delicious in sweet recipes and very common in other parts of the world, using these vegetables for sweet dishes isn't hugely popular in New Zealand at this point. Many people only associate these two with dishes that are not sweet. For our Sweet Tooth vegan subscribers, there are brands of non-dairy chocolate, including white chocolate, such as Sweet William in some supermarkets. Whitakers also create dark chocolate in different flavours, and this includes a dark chocolate peanut slab. Some biscuits, such as these, are vegan friendly, and vegan options are becoming more popular at bakeries and cafes, especially in the larger towns or cities. Some bakeries are also completely plant-based. Most of the larger supermarkets have a gluten-free section. They can be a little bit hard to find, so if you need help, just ask an attendant. Some cafes and bakeries also have gluten-free options as well. See you next time on Kiwi Culture.